the channel. My name is Scott. This is the first video that I'm going to be doing for the channel, and I've decided to name it the Corvette Channel. Um, I did that for a couple of reasons. One, I wanted to be able to share with you all the things that I do with my car and the passion and love that I have for it. Um, I've had seven Corvettes over the course of the time since I was 27 years old, so people always accuse me of having a midlife crisis, but um, it's far from that. I fell in love with the cars back when the C4 uh, had an 86, was my very first one, um, and then had a few, had actually four or four 80s, uh, 1986 Corvettes over the years, a couple C6s, a C5, now my C7. Um, I have, over the course of time, I have had, I've been on Facebook, I've had a lot of friends that have said, hey Scott, you know a lot about these cars, and you seem to be able to help us with all these different things, and it's not that I know a lot, it was trial and error and necessity of having to be able to fix it myself. Um, because nobody can really afford those, you know, humongous dealer fees that they charge all the time. Uh, so I try to avoid having to send them to the dealer if I just have to, but so I, I do it myself. So what I want to be able to do, I want to be able to share with you over the course of time, is to be able to show you all the different projects that I do. Um, some things will be as simple as a brake job, something, um, you know, maybe it's paint correction, which I did share on my Facebook group. I showed what it took to do a uh, ceramic coating on the on the C7. Um, so many people want twenty two, twenty five hundred dollars or more to do a, a, a ceramic coating, and I was able to do this on my own over the course of a weekend for a little under two hundred dollars. And I'll, I made videos of that, and I shared it before with my uh, with my Facebook group. And there's still pictures or questions that come in every day um, for various things. And go back a few months when I did the ceramic coating, people are still asking me, hey Scott, how did you do this? How did you do that? Um, and so I was, I was, what would I say? I had people just come to me and said, hey, look, you have a lot of knowledge. I, I don't, I don't you want to say that I know a lot, but there's been a lot of things that I do know about these cars, little things that I want to be able to show you that's going to save you a lot of money down the road. Um, and then not just that, um, I want to be able to promote you guys. If you guys happen to have a, uh, you know, a project that you're doing um, and you'd like to share that with us, document it, take pictures of it, take video of it, and send it to us, and I will be able to get that up on on the channel so that way you know I can say hey you know Joe did this or or Steve did that and I'd like to be able to follow a little bit in um, in suit with what what other guys have done being able to promote the cars and then also those of you that have been in my Facebook group you know I've always promoted the cars and your wives and your girlfriends and so I'd like to be able to have those um, you know, send them in, send them in, we'll, and we'll post them on the, on the blog. So, um, without further ado, I'm just going to kind of introduce you to the car real quick, and then you, I'm going to be able to make the announcement that we've gone live with the, with the channel, and then at that point, you get, hopefully you guys will all subscribe, and um, that you like what you're seeing, you'll press that like button, and hit the subscribe button and also make sure that you hit that bell button because that way you'll get notified um, when we go when we go live sometimes uh, we're planning on in a couple of weeks going to SEMA um, and so we're going to be able to um, and we're going to be able to hopefully do some live recordings so um, that would be kind of cool to be able to see the in, in, inner workings of that I've never been able to go to SEMA before and our Corvette group is, uh, is going to be able to we've had the opportunity uh, to be able to go and so we're jumping all over that so um, anyway um, more about that later anyway so what we have here is this is the 2014 Z51 Stingray um, I bought it about a year ago uh, actually just a hair under a year ago in no uh, November and um, I have done lots of things with it this was a 3LT package or is a 3LT package 
and there's been a lot of stuff done. I've done some stuff under the hood as far as painting different things. I've painted, painted the calipers. Believe it or not, this car, the color it is, came with, I bought it used, it was ordered with yellow calipers. I don't understand that one. I don't understand the color scheme with that. But I was able to go ahead and I took everything apart and uh, stripped it down, put the new calipers on, and was still able to put the, the lettering on that's normally painted from the factory. We've got, it has the lettering back on it again. Um, so I'll be able to show you how that happens. And, and I have all that documented. Oh, this was always a dream of mine to be able to do a YouTube channel. So throughout the course of the last year, I have really been doing a lot of video and a lot of uh, pictures. So where I have pictures, I'll have to do voiceovers. And where I have video, I'll be able to show you the video. Um, so this one has pretty much every bell and whistle that you can put into a car. Um, it has the carbon fiber dash. It's got all of the, the 3LT package. Some of the interior, I understand, because it's 2014, it is not available anymore. Um, so anyway, that's that's it for this one. And we'll go through this in other. Uh, you know, I'll dedicate a full, you know, 10-15 minutes to the car show you what I've done to it and we'll go from there. Um, now this this car here is a 1992 Chevrolet Corvette. It's a Z51 also. Um, when I got it, it was a basket case. Um, I bought it a little over a year ago. I only paid three thousand dollars for the car and it was all, it was so oxidized that it was almost white in color. Um, I only took a couple pictures at that point. I hadn't really gotten into doing this, so I only have a few pictures of the very back of the car, or the t uh, the gas door is that type of thing, that uh, can kind of show that it was in pretty bad shape. Uh, when I drove it home, um, it was clanging in the rear end, and when you put it into forward and reverse, it would clang really bad because the U joints, the end caps of the U joints, were completely gone. It was literally just the just the spline itself. Um, it had it had a lot of different things. It needed brakes. Um, it, it had the basic brakes, and you know, and so we went ahead and I put on uh, drilled and slotted rotors. We painted the calipers. I've done some paint work under the hood. Um, put some chrome under the hood. Um, it just got uh, just put installed new seats. I'm currently doing a video on that on how to change those seats. I thought that they were very easy to change. They're not, and there's a lot of little tricks to it. So I've got that video that I'm going to be able to start uploading and showing you. I'm still finishing the edits on that now. Um, so everything that you could possibly imagine on a car, this car needed it. It needed electronic sensors, it needed a new brain, it needed a new body control module, it needed new, you know, again, new seats, new interior, uh, you name it. Uh, had to fix the air conditioner, had to do, um, had to do the heater core. Out of all the things I think I've ever done in a car on one of these, on the Corvettes, heater core is probably the worst thing I think I've ever done. And so, um, I've tried to take some video of that, I tried to do some video of it. It's tucked away in a really hard spot to see it, so it's kind of hard, but you're going to be able to get the idea of what's involved and how I went about doing it and what's whether you want to make that decision, how you want to tackle it, or if you're going to send it to the shop to do that. But I am going to try to show you throughout the majority of this, I, I pride myself in the fact that I almost never have to send these cars to the shop. So either we're, you know, we're, it's cosmetic. I, I'm not a real big guy on on changing the motors up or and, and that type of thing. Um, I'll put a lot of cosmetic things on, but I kind of look at it like these chief engineers at Corvette and General Motors itself have spent a lot of money designing these things. I don't know all that much, so I figure I'm going to trust them on that. So anyway, um, don't want to go on and on and on, but I just wanted to welcome you to the channel and ask that you, uh, you subscribe. If you see this, you subscribe to it, you like it. I really would appreciate that. Um, I again with my with my Facebook channel when I first started that, or my Facebook group when I first started that, I never thought I'd ever be over 500 people, and we are at almost 11,000 people now, and it's climbing all the time, and that I think is part of the dedication that. 
myself and my wife have invested in that group and into a lot of the people that are watching me right now. And I'm not going to change. So if you've got a question, um, I'm up a lot of times all different hours of the night. So you're more than welcome to send an email. You've got all of my contact information. Um, so go ahead. Send us, send us an email. You know, message me. See if I can help you in any way. I've been able to direct people in the purchasing of a, of a new C6, new C7. Um, and I've been able to tell a lot of people a lot of things that would save them a lot of time and money. So, like I said, hopefully you liked our channel. Love to see you come back. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit that like button, and be sure and hit the subscribe button, and we will start getting some videos out to you guys, and hopefully we have a great time.